How would you like to be a part of the 2010 opening or closing ceremonies? Van Ock today showed us just how you can do it. Well, CBC's Tim Weeks has been at today's news conference. He joins us now from downtown. So, Tim, how does it work? Well, the Olympic opening and closing are really the big ticket items, usually the most expensive tickets, but if you can't afford them or you couldn't get your hands on them, there's still a way to get, uh, to get your hands on some, especially if you sing or dance. Salt Lake City. The opening and closing ceremonies are considered the jewels of the Olympics. Glittery, maybe a little gaudy, and very expensive. The budget for the 2010 opening and closing is about $40 million and Van Ock must feel some pressure to impress the estimated 3.5 billion viewers who will be watching. If Beijing raised the bar in terms of spectacle, Van Ock says the 2010 ceremonies will play to Canada's strengths and will literally involve a cast of thousands. We've gone about uh, you know, making it very clear from the beginning that this is not, this is not going to be Beijing. Um, and so we're, we're, you know, our, our aim right from the outset was to develop a different model here. So we're looking at a much more theatrical ceremony, a smaller ceremony anyway. People who want to apply are urged to do so now and fill out an online form. Van Ock says it's looking for dancers, singers, athletes and people who just want to take part. But everyone must still audition. Wendy Tynan says it's worth it. She volunteered in 1988 in Calgary when she was 12. They were made for each of us, but they were made so that we could bundle up. It was about minus 30 that day. So how many people are they looking for, Tim? Well, ideally, they're going to have about 4,500 people. They're probably going to audition twice that many, but they're looking to lock in about 4,500 people. They ask people to start applying now. They say you should specify whether or not you sing or dance. But even if you don't, they say you still can take part, but you're going to be subjected to something called movement evaluation. As far as I can determine, that means that you can move from point A to point B, <laughs> perhaps to music. Okay. Thanks very much for that. Tim Weeks, live at BC Place this afternoon.